Hello there, my name is Amy Metra. Uh, welcome to the video. Uh, today's date is the 9th of December 2015. Uh, it's a Wednesday. Um, and yesterday, which was Tuesday, um, I had a really good day. Um, I went to the Wellingborough Flea Market and I got a second-hand uh, troublesome truck. Um, this one didn't come with the box. And however, I've got the um, I've got this truck and the other one with the open eyed base, um, both boxed. Um, and the bo box ones came came from uh, Jay's Chemist in Elsbarton. Um, I also went back to Wellingborough Trains and Models. Um, you may remember I got my circus cattle truck there recently. You can see that review on my channel. Um, but I got two of the uh, vent vans. Um, and the cargo vans have always been in Thomas the Tank Engine, uh, right from well, the start of it really. Uh, however, the grey ones uh, didn't come in until around Series 8, and if you watch the episodes carefully, you'll, you'll notice that it wasn't until Series 8 that the vans uh, became grey as well as the normal brown and black sort of colours. So here we have uh, the three trucks I got. Uh, so there's the troublesome truck and the two grey vent vans. Um, as I said, these uh, grey coloured ones are seen in the Ape series. Um, particularly. Uh, these ones don't have any faces on them though in the future a lot of the vans from like the very early series have had faces on them um, and the vans haven't had faces on them since series 8. Um, these vans are I'd, I'd say really in scale. Um, this truck however is um, a lot bigger than it probably should be um, and there's a Backman uh, counterpart, and the Backman counterpart's a lot more in scale than this. Um, but in general, when going round with either Backman or Hornby uh, Thomas engines, they look more or less in scale. Again, apart from the really big engines like Dart, the Diesel, and Bill. Um, but obviously they're quite big engines anyway, and a bit out of scale themselves. Um, so they do all run really well indeed. Uh, you can have them with any any uh, goods train, and, uh, and so I certainly recommend that you get them if you haven't got them. Um, this troublesome truck here, like I said, it's second hand, doesn't come with a box. Um, and what you get sometimes when you buy second hand trucks, um, the couplings can be a bit rusty. And what I do though, um, tip that's been passed down for many years, many people, is basically get some um, oil and a cotton uh, earbud, and then gently go over it, stop it from rusting. Um, but this one, as you can see, is really good condition and uh, absolutely no rust uh, on it at all. And so I got that one off the Wellingborough Flea Market. And I like the face, and it reminds me of one of the ones that the vans wore, in, again, in the early TV series, Thomas the Tank Engine. Um, and then there's a close look at the vent fan. So this one's actually weathered as well, something I forgot to add. Uh, the Wellingborough really good. And again, what I like is that they've all got metal wheels. I say metal wheels are really good to have. And a lot better than the um, plastic wheels. Because uh, like, the plastic wheels can leave dirt on your track and make it dirty. Obviously you don't want a dirty track because else your engines don't run properly. Um, so they're the free wangs that I've got. Um, and if you, that I've got recently. And if you've got any more questions that uh, you'd like to ask on any of these items or any other rolling stock, uh, please feel free to ask. Um, again, there's links provided in the description below this video of all my previous reviews um, and please follow me on Twitter and like comment, and subscribe to my channel uh, here on YouTube. Uh, thank you very much for watching uh, and goodbye.